Okay, so first math strategy for the PSAT is just to simply use the test booklet as scratch paper. This might be an obvious one that uh, maybe the the problem doesn't have a picture, so you draw one, you use the space to work out problems, and so on. So let's just take a look at a sample problem here. So points H, J, and K, and M lie on the same line in that order. So maybe I just kind of sketch this out here. So draw myself a line, put in the order. I don't really care um, like how big the space is in between them. I just want to have a drawing here to work with. K and M. All right, and uh, if H to K, so from here to here is eight, and from J to M is 11, and j to k, so right in between here we've got 5. We want to know what is the ratio of hj over hm. So just drawing a picture here is going to help us figure out how big everything has got to be. So uh, I'm just going to find out all the missing pieces in the diagram. So from h to k is 8, and if from j to k is 5, then that missing piece there, of course, has to be 3. So from h to j is 3. And then from j to m is supposed to be 11. And if I already have j, k, b, and 5, the part that's left over is 6, if I just subtract those two. Okay, so now what I need to do is find the, the pieces that it's asking for. So h to j, I already found, is 3 over from h to to m. So I need to add up the 11 and the 3 and I get 14. And it, that's it. That's all it is. So just fill this in anywhere in the little grids that fit. So 3, 14. And then fill in of course the dots that go with it. So a 3, a fraction symbol, a 1, and then the 4. And we're good to go.